Hi, my name is John Green of Nerd House Film Production, and this is episode two of a Do It Yourself for another rain bar. You're like, John, you just did a rain bar on your first episode. I know, but let me explain. In the first episode, we did a rain bar for um, interior shots. And what I mean by that is, let's say if you're doing a shot inside your living room and you want it to look like it's raining outside. Well, you would do your scene inside, but then you place the rain bar outside the window and you know let the rain do its work outside the window. Or if you want it to look like it's raining in, you know, outside in a parked car, you place the rain bar outside like the passenger side or driver's side window and shoot your scenes like that. This one is more for exterior shots to make it look like actors are actually in the rain. So this is a real fun one. So buckle up boys and girls, let's get started. All right, for this project, you are going to need a 3 4 inch PVC pipe. You're gonna need three of these. This is a 3 4 inch by 3 4 inch by half inch threaded uh, T section. Like I said, you need three. You're gonna need one of these 3 4 inch coupler with the threaded side, one hose adapter, 3 4 inch uh, PVC cap. You need a half inch uh, PVC riser. You're gonna need about three of these. You're gonna need uh, three of these, uh, these kind of like uh, sprinkler heads uh, for the shrubbery. Uh, you need about a half inch for the half inch mount. You're gonna need um, plumber's tape, PVC uh, cutters, PVC cement, measuring tape, and a marker. All right, so let's get started. So you're gonna take your 3 4 inch PVC pipe, and what we're gonna do is we are going to cut it in half. So you're gonna take your trusty old measuring tape, and we're gonna do it uh, like that. So bear with me here. All right, so now that we have this marked, we are gonna cut this in half. So you're gonna take your trusty PVC cutter and let's get started. Next, what we're going to do is now we have to cut these two in half. So hopefully I cut these all right. It's okay if one ends a little longer than the other. Um, just try to do your best you can to cut them in half. <laughs> So, grab the measuring tape and let's get started. Once you have these marked, you're gonna take your uh, PVC cutter again and then cut these in half, like so. Okay, so now that we have our pipes all cut up, we are going to, we are going to glue three of our T-sections connecting these tubes again. But before we do that, we're gonna need a cardboard box or something to cover the table because this PVC cement it can get pretty drippy and you don't want anything to get ruined. So let me get a cardboard box or a piece of cardboard box and we'll get started. Got our cardboard. All right, so here we go. Now let's get our sit down here. Open up our, the stuff is very smelly. So just be aware of that. All right, so when we do these, I'll tell you about later. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna do thread, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna glue the inside of here with the cement, and you're also going to glue around here as well. All right, pull that up. You take this end, and we're gonna get it in there, and we're gonna hold on to it for a good one minute. So 
So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this pipe and we're gonna glue the inside like we did on the first one. We're gonna glue the inside. And then we're gonna do uh, the outside here. And then we're gonna push this in there. Pull it in really good, like so. And then we're gonna hold on to this for a good one minute. All right, so that should be about a minute. Now, this is the very important part. This is uh, <laughs> very important. Before you, your next one you do, before we connect this next one, we have to make sure the best as you can, when you put this sucker in, like I'm gonna show you, make sure they're kind of facing the same direction. You see what I'm saying here? Uh, you don't want like one crooked, like one face in this way, one face in that way. You kind of want them all facing up. So it's just do the best you can to make sure that's doing that. So let's give it a shot. All right, so like we're gonna repeat, we're gonna repeat what we did in the last one here. So we're gonna take our, our cement. We're gonna uh, apply it like so. And then we're going to apply the inside. Uh, really good. We're gonna close it and then we're gonna do the best we can to line this up as best as you can with the other one. Force it in like that. And just make sure, this, this stuff hardens pretty quick, so you wanna make sure that it's lined up straight. And I think we did a good job. So we're gonna hold on to this for a good one minute. All right, so that's probably about a minute. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna repeat the process on the other side. I'm just gonna move the, the pipe the other way because I'm running out of room, <laughs> as you can see. Um, so we're gonna attach the other pipe to this one. Uh, same process here. We're going to add our glue to the one end here. And then we're gonna add our glue to the inside here or I keep saying glue, I mean cement. You know what I mean. <laughs> and we're gonna repeat the process. All right, so that's probably been about a minute. All right, so we're going to, again, I need to adjust because I'm running out of room. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. We have to make sure that this pipe is facing up, that they're facing the same direction, uh, facing up. Uh, so here we go again. You're gonna take your cement, you're gonna wrap around like so. And you're gonna take the cement here, and then glue it on this edge here. Make sure you get it really, really good. Put that there. And here we go. Here's the tough part, making sure it's all lined good here. Oh my goodness, I'm having a hard time here. Hmm. And here we go. All right, so we have to make sure it's lined up. I think that's uh, pretty good. So we're gonna finish it by pushing this in as good as we can here. I don't know if you can tell, I'm really having, I'm really having a hard, have like no room here. <laughs> but here we go, we're gonna hold on to it, here we go. All right, um, I don't know if you can see, but uh, thank God we have this cardboard piece here because look at all the droplets from all the cement that we use using this. So it's always good to have something protected under here so you're not ruining anything like tables or what have you. All right, so once again, I'm gonna have to adjust because <laughs> I'm running out of room here. I'm gonna attach the other pipe to this. I'm gonna do it right here, all right? So same process we're gonna do over here. We're gonna take some more of our glue, um, our cement, Keep want to call it glue, which is incorrect. It's cement. There's a difference. And we're gonna put it around here. I don't know if you can see that. We're gonna put it around here. All right. And then we're gonna close it up. And then we're gonna push this one in. And we're gonna repeat the pro. Ugh. And we're gonna repeat the process again.
All right, so here we are. All right, so here. Yeah, I know you can't tell from uh, from where we have recorded, but we have all the pipes reattached here. Some of it's, uh, you know, the glue is at this point dried. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our plumber tape, which we have right here, and we are going to uh, thread uh, uh, the plumber tape around the, the little rigid edges here. Uh, this helps make sure that no water is leaking uh, from those ends. So you're gonna take a little plumber tape like this, you're gonna apply it like that, and we're gonna wrap it like so. Doesn't have to be neat, just make sure you got every thread uh, covered. All right, so we're gonna do this about uh, five more times. Let's get started. All right, so once you, here, I don't know if you can see it, I'm sorry. <laughs> once you have these threaded, all right, we're gonna apply these um, here on top of here. So here's one. All right, so that's that. Next, I'm gonna put the cement away for now. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do attach these these, splin uh, these uh, sprinkler heads on top of this uh, mount here. So since it's already threaded, just gotta take one end, screw it on top. I'm gonna do that two more times. See, as tight as you can. All right. Well, I'll double check to make sure these are all tight. Okay, they look about good. All right, next what we're going to do um, is to glue uh, this cap on one of the ends here. So we're going to, I'm gonna move this over here as best as I can so you can see this end here. All right, and you're gonna do the same thing as you did with the uh, the T sections. Uh, you're just gonna apply your little glue here, <laughs> cement, <laughs> to one end here, and around the cap as po as best as possible. Here, let me do it the proper way, around the cap here, and then we're gonna close this off, set it aside, put it like so, and we're gonna count for one minute. Okay, so um, we're going to move this so we, you can see the other end of this. <laughs> I'm trying to knock over anything. So apologize in advance. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the other end here. So this is where this is where we're going to take our. Um, three four inch uh, coupler with the threaded end here uh, to this end. Make sure when you glue this, don't glue the threaded end, uh, uh, glue the smooth end here, okay? So here we go, once again, the cement, apply it, and then you're gonna apply it around here, close that off, push this in, and we're gonna do another one minute count. All right, I think it's about a minute or so. 
All right, so now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the, the, um, the hose adapter, three, four inch hose adapter to the end of here. But before we do that, you're gonna take your trusty old plumber tape and wrap around the thread end, like so. Again, it doesn't have to be pretty, just as long as every thread is covered. Uh, this, like I said, once again, this helps prevent leaks from leaking out uh, through that end. Um, I guess it would help if I'm actually doing it right. Here we go. And, uh, boy, John, you can do it. All right, and then you're just going to screw it on this end here. Now, if you have to, you can use pliers because this part of it gets a little, a little tricky. All right, so this is it. This is it. We're gonna get started on it, and uh, that was it. As you can see here, we have our new exterior rain bar hooked up to this uh, C stand here. We have our zip ties attached to it, and we have it attached to this uh, basketball hoop that we see under here. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this thing rip and uh, see what it looks like behind the camera. Look, it's raining. Who knew? Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you next time. Leave a comment below.